Hello YouTube, it's Parker Dillman, the Longhorn Engineer. Today we're going to build a uh, development kit for the Parallax Propeller uh, microprocessor. Uh, this is going to be, the layout is going to be based off the Gadget Gangster Propeller development kit, so it can use the same shields. Um, a shield is basically just a module that will plug into these headers. So, something like this, if it had headers, you could just pop it right onto it and connect it to the microprocessor without soldering. So you have the microprocessor here, crystal, the EEPROM, the header so you can plug in, the USB connector, power, so it's going to go from whatever is inputted to these two spots. Um, and it's going to first take it down to 5 volts with the 7805, and then it's going to take it down to 3.3 volts. SD card that will be mounted right there. So what I'm going to do now is just solder all these connections in the back to the proto board. Okay, so I have all the parts tacked on and I tacked the SD card on by putting some pieces of uh, metal that got clipped off from like the resistors and stuff. I put that through the board like that, then soldered it there, and so this was sticking up. And then I just put the ground tab tabs on the uh, SD card, and then soldered directly to that. And so now it's attached. Now I'm going to attach the uh, 10 kilo ohm pull-ups on these lines. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description that will give you the pinout of this SD card uh, slot so that you know which to hook up to the 10K pull-ups. Okay, so I finished attaching the SD card and the 10 kilo ohm pull-ups. Um, you can see down in there, I soldered the legs on the SD card to the uh, legs of the 10 kilo ohm resistors. Uh, in the description, there will be some nice detailed photos of this so that you can see exactly how that works down there. So now I'm going to start the task of connecting all these pins together via the schematic. Now when you're looking through the schematics you may see symbols like VSS and VDD. VSS just means it's ground. VDD is a positive voltage, which in our case is probably 3.3 volts, since the propeller runs on 3.3 volts. But you can also denote what this means by going VDD33, which means 3.3 volts, or VDD5, which would mean 5 volts. Okay, after a couple of hours, um, it's actually the next day from when I started it, uh, I finally finished soldering up all the connections on the back. There are quite a bit of connections. So, what I did is I hooked up my power supply right here, and I wrote a little program that basically just flashes those two LEDs down there. Uh, those two LEDs are connected to pins uh, 20 and 19, which is port on the I.O. I think it's 15 and 14. So yeah, let's see if this thing works. So first we're going to uh, plug in the prop plug. Okay, turn this guy on. And we're going to download the code. We'll just do it into RAM so it's nice and quick. And we should get two flashing LEDs that alternates. So we now know the propeller works. At least this dev kit works. So the only problem with this setup is 
all those connections on the back are kind of loose and uh, free to move around. So like let's say you're moving this and sliding it around and it caught something and ripped one of those wires off. Uh, it probably wouldn't work anymore. So I'm going to cut a piece of aluminum and mount it to the back. Well, here's the plate all cut up. And I sanded the edges down so it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to put some holes in it and then mount it to the uh, dev kit. Okay, here's the dev board all done. Uh, it's mounted on the aluminum plate. I added these rubber feet that I got at the hardware store so it doesn't scratch any surfaces that's sitting on. Um, it's running that program that I wrote earlier that you just alternate blinking these light LEDs. Um, I used some motherboard standoffs that I uh, scrapped from an old case to mount to this piece of aluminum. You might not have uh, standoffs, so you can just use, you know, thick nylon washers or something like that. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions pertaining this project or you're going to try to make your own, just leave a comment in this video or you can just shoot me an email which you can find on my website, thelonghornengineer.com.